Our uniforms are finally here. I was hoping that we wouldn't have to worry about it until next school year. I guess we should be happy that we got to spend most of the school year without them. Yes, that's true. I was initially happy when our uniforms were delayed, but maybe it will be nice to know what we're wearing every day. I don't know. I like my individuality. I get it. But maybe it won't be too bad. Let's try the monum C. I guess. I guess it's not too bad. I would rather not wear a skirt every day, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I guess I'll have to start shaving my legs every day now. <laughs> so how was your date with Griff? Amazing. I just love him. Oh, you both are too cute. Griff and Junior is the greatest. So what's up with you and Luca? Nothing. We were just hanging out. Tell that choice. It was innocent. He'll get over it. I'll find him and talk to him. I hope so. Well, I have to meet with my coach before homeroom. Good luck with Ace. Thanks. Hey, Kennedy. Hey, Erin. Have you seen Ace? Not since yesterday, when he was with Marilyn. Marilyn? Yeah, they were walking together a few blocks from the square. That must have been right after our fight. You and Ace are fighting? It's all a misunderstanding. I have to talk to him and make it right. By the way, how did everything go with Donald? The rumors were true. I caught him red-handed. I'm so sorry, Kennedy. I really like Daryl, but you live and you learn. I have to move on. Good for you for walking away. I might give more chances than I should, but I still have my self-respect and dignity. Amen to that. Well, I should get going. Good luck with Ace. Thanks. Oh, hey Luca. Didn't know I would run into you here. Hey Erin. I'm just here looking for a book for my report. Well, I guess I should find Ace. All right. See you later. Still at it. I see. Ace. It's not what it looks like. I just ran into Luca. I was actually looking for you. I wish I could believe you. You can. Nothing happened with Luca. I just didn't tell you that we were hanging out, because I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Erin, you have to be honest with me. I don't like secrets. I'm sorry, Ace. I guess I forgive you. Now, can you tell me what you were doing with Marilyn? I walked her home, because I was on my way over to her house to meet up with Mario. Okay, fine. You did say that you were meeting up with Mario, so I guess that checks out. Yes, because I'm actually upfront and honest. Ace, I said I'm sorry. So are we okay now? I guess. Great! <laughs> Kennedy. What? What do you want, Daryl? Wow, I guess you're still mad at me. I don't have time for this. Bye, Daryl. Wait. I'm sorry. What happened with Valentina? And Nina was nothing. They didn't mean anything to me. You were the main one in my life. Seriously? The main one? Get the hell out of my face. Go find a girl with no self-esteem or self-worth. Leave me the hell alone. Got it, Daryl. I'm down with you. But Kennedy... Stop! I don't want to hear any more. Just let me be. Fine. That's okay. I don't need Kennedy. I'm Daryl Donaldson Jr. I can replace her in two seconds. Well, well, well. DDJ, there you are. Word around school is that you and Kennedy are done. 
What's up to you? I told you what happens when you play with fire. I don't need a lecture. Don't be silly, Daryl. I'm not here to lecture you. Then what do you want? I want you. Come by after school, and we will finish what we started. You're a bad girl. My little poison ivy. You better believe it. Don't you look cute in your uniform? Thanks, and you look very handsome. I was thinking about you all last night. I was thinking of you too. I had such a great time with you. So did I. You want to hang out later? Sure. Griff is right. You do look beautiful in your uniform. Thanks. Layton, can we talk? Like after class? What is there left to say? I think we've said everything that needed to be said. Please. Just this once, and I'll never bother you again, if that's what you want. Fine, Mario. Meet me after lunch, by the bleachers? All right. Fine. Sorry. I was looking for Dr. Crane. He said he would be here after his 11 o'clock class. He got tied up. Check room 103. All right, thanks. Sure. So what are you doing in here all by yourself? My last class was in here, and I have lunch next. Sometimes I just like to stay in here and enjoy the quiet during my lunch. Introvert. I guess you could say that. Are you still meeting me at the library later? Um, about that. I won't take no for an answer. I guess you will have to see if I show up. You will. Aren't you sure of yourself? Just confident. Later. Oh, and nice legs, by the way. This guy is trouble. Hey, Nina. What were you doing in the office? Complaining about these hideous uniforms. I can't be my fabulous self in these clothes. <laughs> Do you really think you can get them to change the uniform policy? Let's be real here. Don't underestimate me. I can be very persuasive. Most of the time, but I don't know about this. I already started a petition, and got half of the school to sign it. Already? When did you find time to do that? As soon as I got here this morning. I cannot be wearing the same thing as these peasants. You're something else, you know that? Mark my words, Gianna. The uniform policy will be null and void by the end of the day. I hope you're right. These jackets are hot and uncomfortable. Well, thank me later. Now there's a thought that I have to put in check. Gotta go. Later, sweets. Oh boy. That Nina is a trip. Valentina Salvatore. Just the thought that I wanted to see. What did you call me? A T-H-O-T, thought. Watch it, Nina. Stay away from Daryl. Thanks for getting Kennedy out of the picture, but I can take it from here. Dream one. Loser, Daryl can't get enough of me. You're sadly mistaken. Am I Nima? Am I? Daryl is a man. He can make his own decisions. I'm not playing with you, Valentina. Get out of my way, little girl. Playtime is over. Look at this little puppy trying to run with the big dogs. <laughs> Crazy lunatic. Hi. You're Gianna, right? Right, and you're in my algebra class. Yes. Is this your lunch period? Yeah. Would you like to eat lunch with me? Sure. Why are you looking at me like that? You're very beautiful. Thanks. Shall we go? 
Save me a seat. I have to run back and grab my wallet. Okay. Luca. You're talking to Gianna? Yeah, she is in my math class. She's so beautiful. Wow. Problem, Erin? Nope, your business. You're right. It's my business. See you around. Well, geez. All right. What's going on? Nothing. Erin, come on. Spill it. Did you and Ace fight? No, we made up. Then why are you upset? Luca is interested in Gianna. So? So? Out of all the girls in the school. Gianna? The one who attacked me. Erin, you're just starting to get to know him. He doesn't owe you anything. He's basically a stranger. And you're with Ace. Why does it matter? I don't like my friend group overlapping with Nina's friend group. It's bound to happen. But in all honesty, I think you feel a way about it because you have a crush on Luca. Don't be ridiculous, Layton. You're acting jealous. You like Luca. I do not. If you say so. I do say so. Fine, on to other news. I heard that Nina is trying to get the uniform policy terminated. Only Nina, but honestly, I hope she can make it happen. I've been very uncomfortable all day. Yeah, I miss my clothes. Me too. Oh, and did you hear that Kennedy and Doral broke up? Yes. And good for her. He was for everybody. Right, it was a toxic mess. Speaking of toxic messes, Mario asked me to meet him after lunch. Are you going to? Yeah. He said it's the last time that he'll bother me. I'm glad actually. You guys used to be good friends. I hope you both can rekindle that. Why? Because he gave you a great gift. Which was? He led you to Griff. You're right. I didn't think of it like that. It was the best thing he did for me. I would have hated to miss out on someone so wonderful. Where are you, Daryl? Where were you? What do you want, Valentina? I was waiting for you. Valentina, I'm done with the back and forth. Fun time is over. Yeah, okay. I'm serious. It's done. Is it because of Nina? No. It's not. Your face is just a constant reminder of what happened with Kennedy. Nobody walks away from Valentino Salvatore. I just did. Peace. I'm here. What's up? I know that I messed up. And I was foolish to handle things the way that I did. I don't know. I guess I just lost myself for a moment. I was an idiot. I know I ruined any potential of us ever being together, but I really want us to go back to at least being friends. I wish I could go back in time and do things differently, but I can't. I've already lost what I always dreamed of, us finally being together. And I don't want to lose you completely, so I just want to say that I am sorry Leighton. Can you please forgive me? Can't we become friends again? I don't know what to say, Mario. I was so angry with you for so long. But now, Erin reminded me that everything happens for a reason. Who knows what could have happened with us, if things went the other way. There's no guarantee that we would have been good together. But Griff and I are great together, a perfect fit. And honestly, I have you to thank for that. If I never ran off the day we met in the park, then I would not have ran into Griff. It all led me to this point, and for that, I'm grateful. Oh, well, I guess I'm happy for you. Thanks, and I guess you're forgiven. There's no need to hold a grudge. Especially when I should be thanking you. Okay, okay. I get it. 
You're happy. Great. So we're okay now? Yeah, we're okay. Friends? We will start slow and build our way back to friendship. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Well, I guess I should get to class. Later, Mario. Later, later. Hey, Gianna. Oh, hey, Jake. How's it going? It's going pretty well. How are you? I'm great. How are you and Tina? We're good. She's lucky to have you, you know. It was nice that you stood by her during that Ashley fiasco. I know I told you before, but that was really cool. It was no big deal. I just did what every good human being would do. I've traveled all over, and you would be surprised how much people don't speak up. I've actually dated someone when I was living abroad, who didn't speak up for me. Every time I had a run with horrible, ignorant people, he just pretended like it never happened. That sucks. So what happened? I dumped his ass. And I started to speak up for myself and others. That's awesome. He sounds like a weak person to me. And you don't need a person like that in your life anyway. Facts. Well, I have to go home a little early today. I guess I'll see you around. Sure. I knew you would show up. Oh, really? Don't get too cocky. Come. Have a seat beside me. So I'm here. Now what? Why did you want to meet me here? Relax. Does everything has to have a reason? Have you ever lived in the moment? Can't say that I have. Well maybe I just want to get to know you. Why? Cause I'm curious. Where are you from? Toronto originally. How long have you been in Elkford? A couple of years. Bull. I would have ran into you before the office party. This is a small town. Yeah, you're right. I was joking. I've been here for about eight months. Do you go out? Not really. I prefer to stay in. Oh, I get it. Get at what? You just needed some Ali in your life. Oh, please. Okay. You can play hard to get. I like challenges. I'm sure that you do. So what time are we hanging out tomorrow? Excuse me? What time are we hanging out? 3.30? The new cafe place? Uh. About that. Great, see you then. But... Later, Rain. What the hell just happened? Oh, you're good, Mr. Nazari. Two can play that game. Game recognize game. Hey sis, how did your talk with Leighton go? It went well. She finally forgave me. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. It was bittersweet. What do you mean? It's great that she forgave me, and that we can work our way up to being friends again. But hearing her speak so highly of Griff, feels like a gut punch. I know I deserve it, but it still hurts baby steps. You never know what the future holds. You're right. Just be patient and be a good friend. Thanks, sis. Anytime. Who's the best? Let me guess. You? <laughs> you better believe it. I got the uniform, rule changed. It's now optional. Memos will be sent out today. That's awesome. Yes. I am the best. Now let's go shopping. Great idea. Let's meet at the boutique. Cool. Hey. Hey Marilyn. I had fun with you the other day. Yeah. Thanks for that advice. It really helped. Erin and I are okay now. 
Well, I'm glad I could help. So what are you doing now? I'm meeting up with her. Okay. Well, see you later. Later. Ace. Aaron. Hey. Hey, what was that about? You and Marilyn? I just ran into her. We were just saying hi, and then you showed up. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Are we okay? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, good. You want to go get something to eat? Yeah, that sounds good. So did you break it off with Valentina? Yes, Nina. Good. So where are we headed? Oh, I have somewhere in mind. Well, let's get going, my little poison ivy. Hey, cutie. Who? Me? Yes, you. Oh, hey. So, what's your name? Kennedy. That's a beautiful name. My name is Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. Where are you headed? Home. How about we hang out instead? Gee, I don't know. I don't know you like that. Well, here's your chance to get to know me. Come on. Let's get a bite to eat at the diner. Okay. Why not? Lead the way. Are you ready to go in? Get a table. I'll meet you in there in a moment. Okay. Wait a damn minute. Is that Kennedy? Who is that guy that she's with? I guess she's not sitting at home all hard broken, like I thought. Well played, Kennedy. Well played. Thanks for coming. Sure. You know, at first, I thought you had a thing for Arian. It wasn't like that exactly. I find her cute and amusing. But I wasn't pressed, or anything. I see. Yeah. We're cool. Nothing more. Okay. What's up with you and Jake? Jake is cool. I like the person that he is. He's with Tyena though. And well, me and his best friends don't get along too well. Oh, well it seems like you have a crush, but I hope that I can take your mind off of him. What do you mean? Luca. I've been wanting to do that since this morning. Wow! Did you get a table for us? No, I'm not feeling so good. I think I should go home and lay down. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. Alright. Feel better. Thanks. Later. I'm on tour, and she doesn't even know it. Are you just leaving Erin's dorm? Yeah, I dropped her off. You good, bro? I think Erin has a crush on that Luca guy. What makes you think that? Because of them meeting up at the diner that day. She's been acting funny since then. She wanted to leave the bistro as soon as we got there. She didn't realize that I saw Luke and Janet there. She went in there before me and probably wanted to get me out of there, so I wouldn't be able to see how jealous she was. What was her reason for wanting to leave so fast? She said that she wasn't feeling well, but she's not fooling anyone. So what are you going to do? I'll wait a little longer, and if I still sense that she's crushing on him, I'm done. She's not going to have me walking around school, looking crazy. I get it. I really like Erin, but I'm not blinded by my love for her. She needs to make a choice, or I'll make it for her. 